our new Hobo Dyer projection map that's here to my side was published last August, and it was just used when Jimmy Carter received the Nobel Prize. He came to us because he liked the map, and it made sense to have a map that displayed, again, the equatorial countries true to size and true to proportion in a way that was able to display the dots. If you had put these same dots on a Mercator map, what would have happened? They'd all be scrunched up towards the bottom of the map. So this is a perfect application for this kind of a map. This map was created by British cartographer Mick Dyer. How is this image with South on top different from either the MacArthur map or the What's Up South map? Well, like the Peters, it has the somewhat unique attribute of being an equal area map. All of the countries are true to size and true to proportion. But unlike the Peters, it doesn't have that stretched out effect between 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south. It has better shape in the mid-latitudes, but worse compression when you get to the poles. Everything is a trade-off, and the Hobo Dyer map with its many perspectives, reinforces the point that there are many different ways to see the world. We can't simply look at things from one vantage point and feel like we understand a picture completely. And all we've done is change the orientation of the poles and change the centering. And when you look at these two side by side, it looks like it's a different planet. It looks utterly different. I ask you, how much water is in the image to the right? And you'd say, oh, I don't know, 50% or something like that. And you look at, and say, ask the same question here. How much water is in this image here? Oh, 68, 70, something. Well, that's really what there is on the Earth. And it's the exact same amount there. It's just that your attention is focused on different things. And so what you put in the center of a map, how you frame things, how you orient things, communicates a very important message.